to the SP-1200, the blue light bulb, to the board, the engineer's hands, and the limited world of patience. Hallelujah to everybody say ho, amen to all the ladies say ow. Thank God for make money, money, make money, money, and bless every hand that was ever put in the air. In your name. Yo, what's going on guys? It's the boy toys for another night of breaking classes. Um, so as per usual, we'll get started with a couple of stretches and then we'll get into get my glasses off. And then we'll get into some footwork. Um, and then we're gonna go into some basic freezes today, uh, along with some variations on a on these shuffles and how to play around with uh shapes and patterns so um so let's get started so same thing as usual uh, we're just going to get started with a stretch so we're going to do a split make sure let's see all right there we go so same thing as usual, we're going to do splits to start off with and then uh, move on to a butterfly, straight leg, hip twist, a hip stretches. Um, we'll stretch out some of our calves and our upper body for, for the things we're about to do today. Okay, so we're going to stay here for about, uh, eh, we'll stay here for about a minute just because. You can never stretch for too long. So from here, leg straight, uh, back straight, and try to keep your legs as wide as possible. And then what you're going to do is, uh, if you want to stretch this further, keeping your back straight, just try to lower your body down to your elbows or all the way down. And this time around, we're going to be stretching throughout all the things that we're going to do today. So make sure no one gets injured or pulls a muscle or anything like that. So stay in the split for a little bit longer. All right. If you can, if you want, you can try to actually sit all the way over your hips and try to really do a full split all the way down if you can. But of course, yeah, if you can't do this, don't worry. Just do whatever you can. All right, cool. So from here, opposite arm, opposite foot. My left hand is going to my right toe. Same thing, right hand to your left toe.
So, um, feet together, make a diamond, and you're going to do a butterfly stretch. Again, try to keep your back straight at all times, just to develop better posture, but also better form for the stretches. Here, we're going to do straight leg stretches. Just keep your legs straight, reach for your toes. a little bit longer here this is a really important stretch right. so from here we're going to stretch our hips right leg over your left and then your left hand twisting over your right knee. over your right or right hand right arm over your left knee Real quick, we're going to do some split stretches as well today. So left leg back, right leg forward, left hand to your right leg. These are good for stretching out your your uh, your groin muscle and your uh, your hip flexor, whatever it is. Not a doctor, so not entirely sure, but it, it stretches the outside of your hips and the the inside of your thighs, uh, especially your groin muscle. So good stretch to do.
We'll finish out with a split one last time. Just a little bit of a split once more. This time, if you can go lower, try to try to go lower. So, let's see. Um, we're going to go over, again, the, the leg sweeps that we went over the past few weeks, and then we're going to go over, uh, we're going to go over some knee shuffles, and then we, we're, we're going to try to play around with combining leg sweeps with knee shuffles, okay? So, playing around with shapes, uh, and then ultimately building momentum while creating shapes and patterns, uh, all to help you create a better flow in your footwork. Um, yeah, so here, we'll get started. So, so from here, we'll go over the uh, eight ball sweep first. So same thing from here. Okay. We're going to do front leg sweep with our right leg, and we're going to go through the whole eight ball pattern. So from here, it's going to be forward leg sweep, reverse, and then forward leg sweep and reverse with the other leg, and then go so on and back, uh, so on and so forth. So from here. Forward. Okay, reverse. Rotating the side that you face. Switch, rotating back to the front. Front leg sweep. Now reverse. Rotating to the other side. Switch. Forward leg. So from here, forward, reverse, forward, reverse, to forward. Okay. So again, that's a pretty common pattern uh, by now. We're only going over each pattern like really once as a review in the beginning, but really you should be working on this uh, whenever you're practicing outside of the session. Um, helps develop your footwork. And as you're doing it, it's not just about being able to do the pattern or memorizing it or even just utilizing it. It's about cleaning it up as well. So make sure you're keeping your legs straight you're doing it as swiftly as possible without wobbling around too much. It's just going to be a very concise eight ball pattern to go from one side to the other, face one direction, face the other side. Should be perfect every time, completely symmetrical. Um, no reason for anyone who's been breaking for more than a few years to not know this move. Very simple, very basic. Um, of course, you don't, don't have to use it per se, but just, uh, yeah, it, it is a very good pattern on. So uh, we'll, we'll do it one more time, and then we'll go over the other leg sweeps real quick. Slightly faster speed without any pauses or interruption. Okay. And then we 
one over the front sliding suite. So from here, stepping forward, back leg slides underneath, sweep underneath, down goes forward. Okay. So full speed, it will be like that. Opposite direction. Right leg first. Left leg sweeps under. Foot. So from here, it should be the exact same. Down full forward. So um what's the other one we want? So then we also have uh, the front leg sweep to uh, a reverse back leg sweep. So from here, we have, and be doing it sideways, starting with your right leg, doing this counterclockwise. So from here, your right leg is going to leg sweep, but not touch the ground. Leg sweep swings all the way back around. Until you sweep, sweep it behind you. So from here, like that. Okay. And of course, you don't have to land in the full freeze. You can just step out to uh, the first step, the first position of the sixth step. So if you wanted to, from here, you go. like that. Okay. So if you're going clockwise, now I switch sides. Left leg swings forward. Swings back. Swing down. Okay. One more time. So from here. Step out. Back out and forward. All right, so those are your those are the leg sweeps we went over, and then of course we went over the the leg sweeps where you can use both legs to sweep underneath. So from here, like that, really easy. sweep underneath your body. Um, of course, you don't want to be sitting down. When you do this full speed, you want to throw it and launch your body from one arm to the other. So from here, okay, from here, you're going to be throwing it underneath. Okay, so from here, like that. But should not be hitting the ground at all. Um, so basically, we're going to move on and uh, go over some light shuff uh, knee shuffles. So, very basic knee shuffle. And knee shuffle is a very, pretty much kind of a blanket term. It's a, it's a very wide category. So, Basically, anything that's going to be shuffling from one side of the uh, body to the other using your knees. And it can involve actual shuffles with your legs going back and forth, or it can be different shapes and patterns. So, from here, you're going to do a really basic one. So, from here, keeping your legs together, knees together, ankles together, starting on your right arm. And you want to do it. So that if you're doing a push-up position, your hands are parallel to the ground almost, or parallel to each other, but then your hips are twisted to the side, like so. So from here, you twist them down. See, my hands can still come down. They're still next to each other. Twist, 
and then you can come up this way. Down. Up. Okay. So from here, boom. Like that. Okay. So making sure there's no messages or anything. All right. So these are probably the most basic knee shuffles out there. So as you're doing footwork, doing CCs, you know, leg sweeps, whatever, you can essentially just get into it from any position, really. Um, you can do it from a freeze. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's many different ways to get into the freeze um, or the leg shuffles, knee shuffles. My fault. Knee shuffles. There's a lot of different ways to go into knee shuffles. So just. Uh, Really get creative. You can start from your feet, you can start from your knees, you can start from a freeze, you can start from your back, really. So very simple. It's as long as you kind of get the general shape and idea of your legs together, you know, kind of keeping your legs bent at a 90 degree or just bent in general. If you want to start on the back, You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of different ways to play with it. Very simple move, but just a lot of different ways you can play with it. Um, so one thing you can do is basically play with your joints, the ability to extend and contract. So if you want, you can do change up your uh, knee shuffles by adding kickouts in between. So if you wanted to kick out, down, switch, back. Okay. Um, you could almost do the exact same thing, but use your ability to extend your legs to jump off the ground if you want. So if you want, you can go from here. Boom. Boom, boom, and maybe from here, you see what I'm saying? Jump off your toes, you can go up to a handstand, start off doing some power moves, or just keep adding on to freezes. Um, you can use that to just cascade or a rainbow over and basically uh, land on the other side if you wanted to and continue doing these shuffles. Um, just, uh, just get as wild and creative as you want to be so um i'll do it slowly one more time and then i'll show you a variation that i uh do with knee shuffles that kind of forces you to do like a, a bicycle shape uh with your with your legs so from here down it's twisting your hips really Okay, my body doesn't, upper body doesn't change much. It's mostly in your lower, lower body and your hips. So from here, twist, rotate around your knees, back up. Like that. Okay. Wow, that demolished my knees. So anyways, uh, uh, we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to keep our legs in a bicycle pattern. So when you think of bicycle, it's going to be basically this shape. Okay. One leg bent back at 90 degrees and the other leg bent forward at a 90 degrees. Okay. So people do this for head spins, for, for freezes. It's a, 
it's a very commonly used shape. Um, so we're going to use the bicycle pattern now to do a very unique twist on these shuffles. Not necessarily my move or anything. I do it a lot. So uh, people have come to know me for doing this move. But really, it's just it's just knee shuffles. Anyone can do them. But the cool thing about doing it in a bicycle form is because your knees and your feet and your hips and everything else are staggered instead of being placed right next to each other. Uh, there, there's a lot of room to play around with this uh, with this pattern. So you can go from you know one side to the other without really changing your legs too much. Too. We'll, we'll go over all that in a second. So basically, just remember the basic pattern. It's from your feet, twist your hips, switch sides, back to your feet. And then it's all in your hips. Everything is in your hips upper body if you wanted to it's basically just going to be upright so from here i'll show you what i mean by that basically my arms are going to be straight down i'm facing forward but you can just twist your hips without moving your upper body much right That's all knee shuffles are. Super easy. Just always take it. Uh, just always take it easy on the knee. Uh, you don't want to. You don't want to bang up your knees too much. Um, but basically, from here, what we're gonna do is a figure four pattern. So from here, right. This is my right leg. This is my left. So my right leg stays on the ground, all right? My left leg, my left leg goes over to a chair position or a bicycle, creating a bicycle shape with your leg. But overall, it's basically like I'm doing a chair, right? Like a chair brace. So basically, from here, your right knee comes down like it normally would for a knee shuffle. But as you do that, your left leg will twist. So you make a, a chair, a, a bicycle or a chair position this way. Okay. So from here, watch. Okay, so the foot that's on the ground stays on the ground, that starts off on the ground, stays on the ground. The other leg is just twisting its uh, position pretty much in place. You're really not moving that much more. So all in your hips again. Same thing, literally doing this, except You know, you see what I'm saying? It's really just twisting on this toe, your right toe, and then your left leg just swing back and swings forward every time you do that. So one more time, right leg down, left leg up in the chair. And then from here, down to your knee. Okay. So and then from there, you can swing your leg down if you want, or, you know, do a kick out. There's a lot of ways you can play with just that angle. Okay, so, um, play around with that shape. The way you twist your hips and your legs, uh, it, it should open up a lot of new opportunities for you. So, we'll do the same thing, but on the other side. Left leg down, right leg up. So from here, down and you twist. 
Okay. So this leg, all I'm doing is this with this leg. I'm just, just swinging it like that. As I lift back up, okay, I just twist my hips and move my legs to the opposite direction. Okay. Just like that. Okay. So if you can, try to do that for a few minutes. If you need help, you put both hands on the ground. So basically, it's just going to be from here to down. Left leg down, right leg up, and then from here, use your hands to help if you need it. Okay. Just like that. All right. The slower you do it, the more difficult it might be, um, which is why once you get used to this motion, Try to do it swiftly and try to do it in one sharp motion and snap to each position as if it was like you were doing a freeze. Think of it just each position being a freeze and you need to snap and lock into it. So from here, freeze, 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 freeze. Okay. So that's one little twist you can do for a knee shuffle is instead of your legs together, you stagger it and you create a bicycle pattern with your legs. And then from there, like I said, just play with the, with the positioning of your legs and just keep adding to it. Go to whatever the first thing that comes to your mind that you think of when one leg is over the other, you know? So from here, if you want to jump and do a, a, a air freeze, if you want, you can come down, put your foot down and then do from here, you can do a figure four, right? And then from the figure four, this leg's extended, this one cent. Now you can swing and do a leg sweep around if you want. Okay. Think about all the different ways you can uh, connect this move. If you want, you can even boom, boom, here, right? And then if you want, with your right leg, leg sweep behind and come to a hook. Um, I mean, the, there's, there's a lot of different possibilities here that you can play with and connect probably like at least 50 different moves just from one starting position. Not just one starting position, you know? There's probably 50 different ways to get out of this, 50 different ways to get out of this. From here, if you just swing this foot back and put it on the ground, there's like 50 different ways to get out of this move. You can lift your knee, knee shuffle that way. Um, and then you can even incorporate it into like uh, another really standard knee shuffle pattern, which is doing it with out your hands, which is starting from here, boom, boom. Very, very simple knee shuffle pattern. Okay, so actually how about we do that? We'll connect the two moves together. So starting from here, left knee down, right leg up. Okay, we're going to rotate and switch over to the other knee uh, position. 
Okay, so from here, boom. Okay, be mindful of your knee. Don't bang it on the ground. You want this to be very smooth, uh, light-footed motion. You don't want to necessarily bang your knee on the ground. So from here, switch legs. Now you place the leg beside the other one and switch. Okay, so you're back at square one, but it looks like your legs are doing almost like a, your legs are like doing a boogaloo. As a matter of fact, this pattern is actually used in a lot of uh, boogaloo steps when it comes to popping. So, very similar movements, uh, similar uh, idea behind this move. It's more so to make it look like your body's moving in a circular spherical pattern almost. So from here, you go. Okay. So from there, if you wanted to spin a little bit, it adds to that round flow, that roundish, circlish flow as you're doing this uh, this particular knee shuffle pattern. So from here, if you were to do a six step, right? Step one, and from step one, you just went, just went around in a circle, and you come back to a knee freeze, like this go, boom. You know what I'm saying? So from here, if you're doing six step, step one, and then some, from step one, just drop to your knee and swing. So, okay. So that's another very uh, common knee shuffle pattern. Uh, even more so than the other one I showed you, actually. This is like pretty, pretty classic traditional uh, footwork pattern. So, one more time from here. All right. So, left knee down, right knee up. Switch. Your left leg goes beside your right. Right leg comes up. Okay. But if you were to do this quickly, you're going to end up doing a quick half a knee spin with your legs together. Okay. So from here, it's going to go boom. Like that. All right. Did everyone catch that? So it's going to be right when you place the other leg down next to the other one before you switch over. You're going to use that swing of the leg to help you spin on your knee and then catch it to the other side. So from here, okay. So from here, switch, half a spin, and then on your other knee. Okay. So, uh, again, this one and the the other knee shuffle pattern I showed you are both uh, very classic traditional footwork patterns. Easily can go along with uh, leg sweeps. So, as you're doing, for example, six up, you want. Do a coffee grinder. And then do a back sweep like that. Um, these are all very common patterns and, and footwork maneuvers. Uh, the more you get comfortable with these steps, uh, the easier it will be for you to kind of freestyle in and out of the moves. Uh, once you memorize these patterns, uh, it, it, it'll be, it may seem tricky at first to connect them, but your body will eventually figure out a way to seamlessly connect the two without hurting yourself or making it pause. Eventually, you will, your body will determine a way to keep the momentum going without, uh, yeah, without breaking your thought. So, um, for a quick moment, just to give our knees a rest, we're going to do a little stretch again. So, 
will show another little pattern you can do with knee shuffles and like sweeps real quick. Uh, but first we'll, we'll give our, or at least for me, I need to give my knees a break. And uh, we're gonna do some splits again real quick. Okay, we'll do some butterflies. Yeah. Do like half open splits. Not all the way, but just kind of split open towards the front of you. Okay, like this. Do the, uh, the the spinning knee shuffle one more time, and then we'll do the uh, the knee shuffles that end in the chair. All right. So from here, right leg down, or right leg is up, left leg is down. Switch. Swing this leg to the side. Spin on your knee, and then bring your right leg back up. Okay. So if you were due to if you were to do the opposite, left leg up, right leg down. And then from here, switch. And then your left leg comes back up. Okay? So we're gonna move on just because the that move is killing my knee. So anyways, the other one. From here, okay, twisting your hips, switching to the other side, okay? And then if you want, you can, from here, as you twist down, create that bicycle pattern and come up, okay? And then if you wanted to, you can just come back down right next to it, switch sides, and then come back up and repeat again if you want. Okay. So that kind of makes it a really cool dynamic knee shuffle pattern. Still very common, but not, it won't be like your typical knee shuffle pattern. It'll, it'll kind of throw everyone off a little bit, which is always fun to do. So for example, if you're to do a fast speed from here, boom. You know what I'm saying? So that was pretty poorly done, actually. So one more time. So from here, boom, boom, boom. Trying to do this left. Okay, so from here, boom, boom, boom. Switch sides, boom, boom, boom. Okay. Um, These knee shuffle patterns are always really fun to do. And so I'm just going to give a few examples of how you can combine it with leg sweeps. Uh, in, in a way that uh, I didn't show you earlier. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Just, <laughs> just, just play around with these. Everything I'm teaching you guys, just uh, take it as a whole practice it as a whole, but uh, also absolutely take it apart and dissect it however you will. Um, there's never any wrong way to connect a move. Certain combinations and certain techniques make things look a little bit smoother and cleaner, but overall, Everyone's got a, bit, a different body type, flexibility. So sometimes 
whatever footwork moves that I connect, it might not look as good for someone else and vice versa. There are times where I've seen patterns that I thought was really cool and I would try to do it. Just doesn't work for me, right? And sometimes even if it doesn't, like I said in the past, just keep doing it anyway and keep working on it. It just might be a thing where it requires you to get used to that movement and clean it up over time. Um, so, yeah. Eight ball pattern, you don't have to do the whole thing. No one ever does, really. But doing the whole thing is what allows you to clean up your footwork, build new patterns, understand direction and flow better. And then, yeah, just cut it up into pieces, even for this knee shuffle, chop it up however you please. I mean, really from here, from this position, you could start going to a swipe if you wanted to. You know what I mean? So you could go boom, 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 and then just one leg up and swipe out. So definitely uh, play around with it. And I'm just going to right now just very slowly go through some different movements uh, for you to play with. Okay. So from here. first look and then from here you see knee shuffle pattern okay let's see there's also just some very small basic examples of how to connect different footwork moves. Um, just just have fun with it. So you saw me do not just forward, I just did a freeze. And then eventually when you start to develop more dynamic acrobatic moves, you can start incorporating power with your footwork. Uh, using these leg sweeps and knee shuffle patterns can be great ways to connect and introduce your power coming from footwork. So uh, keep working on it. And then we only have a few minutes left, so we'll end it with some more stretches. Okay, so same thing. Start with some splits. Butterfly stretches. It's my shoelace. All right. So feet together, back straight, and bring your body, upper body down to your feet. All right, and 
and uh, from here we're going to do some more hip stretches after this. We're going to be laying on the ground this time, so I'll, I'll lay down sideways for you guys to see. Okay. So lay flat on your back, right leg up, and then the right leg goes over your left side. Okay. So right leg, use your left hand to bring your right leg over. Switch sides, left knee up, right hand pulls the left knee over your right side. And then if you're up for a slight challenge, we're going to try to hold like a kind of like a shoulder stand, but off our upper backs, not like a, not like in a, a B boy or a B girl way. It's going to be this thing. So from here, legs over, hips up, hands behind your hips, and then up. So that's actually a really good uh, stretch slash position to hold and get used to, uh, especially when it comes to developing your your power moves. Uh, learning to lean on your upper back is going to be quintessential to learning all your basic power moves, which we will slowly get into once we once we get over a little bit more footwork moves. We're going to get into some power and freezes. So. Um, before we get into power and freezes, if you can start getting used to that uh, shoulder freeze or shoulder stand position, uh, that'll be most ideal. And eventually, like you saw me do, you're gonna you should practice bringing your legs over in front of your face and your hands above your head in a Y shape, so that there's actually nothing to support you. It's just purely balancing and leaning all the way on your upper back and that's going to be crucial to developing the proper form for power moves um for backspins windmills uh munch mills everything tombstones all of that requires understanding how to put all your weight onto your upper back and your shoulders okay um so it's 757 uh, well, I'm just going to keep stretching my splits and if anyone has questions, give me a holler. Otherwise that was pretty much our lesson for the night. So peace guys. <laughs>